Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the shear stresses that are generated by the shear force. In general, shear stress can be caused by torsion, where the equation is Tc over J. So if you have a beam, which is under torsion, that can cause shear stresses. Or, simply by a shear force that we normally show it by V. So we have two equation for the stresses by the shear force, V over A and V Q I T. The difference is pretty simple. V over A is a simpler equation. It just tells us the average shear stress across the cross section. And V Q I T gives us the shear stress at any desired location across our cross section. So for both cases, V is the shear force, here in VQIT, Q is the first moment of area. The equation for that is AY bar. I is the second moment of area, and T is thickness. But when do we use each? So if you're interested in finding the deformation, the equation tau equals G gamma, and that would be the shear deformation, then you can use the average value of shear stress. But if you're interested in finding failure analysis, whether your part is failing or not, and you're trying to find an element with the maximum stresses, then you have to use the exact equation. For example, here, we can choose our element here and then find all the stresses that are acting on that element or somewhere in the top. And for that, we have to find the shear stress at a particular location. In general, for a circular cross section, the shear stress is maximum in the middle. And then as you go away, the shear stresses get smaller and smaller. And we can find the value for each location using VQIT. But we know for the maximum, it's actually good to memorize that for the circular cross section, the maximum shear stress is 4V3A. For a rectangular cross section, the maximum again happens in the middle and the value would be 3V2A. And this is the, the average shear stress. So four thirds of the average here is three half of the average value. Uh, but when you're calculating the shear stress at any location, you need to remember that we are, if we are interested in finding the shear stress here, we need to use this area and then find a centroid of that area with respect to our coordinate system. So that would be our Y bar. And if you're interested in finding it in this location, then that would be the area that we use in our equation and then we find a centroid of our desired area. And then if we want to find a maximum value, again, we said that for a circular, we know it's already 4 over 3VA, but here we use this area if you want to find it for yourself, and then we use the Y bar. And then we have to use the corresponding thickness for each case. And here the thickness would be the diameter. So when we find the shear stress, and if we don't have any torsion or anything else, we can put it in one mesis and then the one mesis stress, which is also known as effective stress, distortion energy, uh, we will give us one value, then we can compare it with the yield stress and then find our factor of safety.